Hello, and welcome to Pam's Kitchen. I'm Pam Ooten, Family and Consumer Science Extension Agent with NC State Cooperative Extension in Cabarrus County. And I am so glad you're joining us today in Pam's Kitchen. You know, usually I prepare something very healthy and hearty. Well, today we're gonna have a little bit of fun and we're going to do sheet pan pancakes that can be eaten at breakfast or maybe even at lunch, but I like to think of them as a breakfast food. And I'll say in the very beginning, this recipe is from Texas A&M Extension, their dinner tonight program, and we use a lot of their recipes on our program. To begin with, go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees. It's like my house, it takes a few minutes to get up. So preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Then you're ready to have um, three cups of all-purpose flour. And to that, we're going to add three tablespoons of sugar. We're going to add two tablespoons of baking powder. We're gonna add just a half teaspoon of salt. Let's go ahead and mix that a little bit, get it mixed up. Then we're gonna go over here and do our liquid ingredients. And our liquid ingredients will be two and a half cups of whole milk. And we do wanna use whole milk this time. Two and a half cups, there's two. And the second cup of uh, half milk. And we're gonna do two large eggs are going into this mixture. Two teaspoons of vanilla, isn't this sounding good? And we're now ready to whisk this. And this is probably the most important step. You wanna make sure that you get your eggs well blended. So this is a great time to use your whisk. And we'll just continue whisking for a few minutes. I think we've got those eggs well mixed. And we also will add two tablespoons of unsalted butter that's been mixed into the mixture now. All right, I think we have a well-mixed liquid base, so we will pour it into our dry ingredients and take a few minutes to get this well-mixed. And it does take a few minutes. You know, sometimes you worry about overbeating flour but this is not the case today. We want to get it very well mixed. Now, I know that some of you are saying, this is going to make a lot of pancakes for me. I live alone, or there's just two of us at our house. I do have a solution for that. My solution is go ahead and make the sheet pan pancakes. Let it cool and go ahead and cut it into the slices that you'll see in just a minute, and freeze some individual uh, pancakes. Make sure you freeze them in freezer wrap and label and date, and you'll have pancakes uh, for the next week or month or so. Uh, I like to date the pancakes, uh, not the pancakes themselves, but I like to date the bag and this is how I have individually wrapped them so they're easy to come out. Because I, I talk to a lot of people that um, live alone and they say, you make such big recipes, I can't possibly eat all those. So that will solve that dilemma. I think we have this mixed very well. And next we'll just add in or pour this to our sheet pan. And notice we've got a large sheet pan and it's covered in parchment. It's covered with parchment paper. That's a really important step because it promotes even browning and it makes cleanup so easy. So now we're ready to pour our pancake mix into our sheet pan that is lined with parchment paper. And we've done our work already. Our oven is preheating to 425 degrees. So take just a second to get all this yummy mixture out. 
This really is a fun recipe. I hope you're gonna try it and enjoy it. It's tempting to lick um, the bowl, but we don't do that because these include this recipe includes raw eggs and we certainly don't want to lick the bowl. All right, I, so now we just want to take a spatula and spread the pancake mix to the very ends of the sheet pan, kind of even it out. Okay, a little bit thicker down here. So we'll just keep moving. Now, the fun part, you can add fruit to this and bake it with the fruit. Today, I'm gonna use uh, sliced strawberries and just put them on in a random manner. I love the strawberries. I'm gonna be adding bananas too. I think it would be delicious to add fresh blueberries. Uh, wouldn't that be pretty? Or I have also seen it suggested that you can add some very thinly sliced apples, uh, which would be another option. Also, another option, maybe I shouldn't share it, you could add some mini chocolate chips to make the sheet pan pancake uh, uh, even more delicious, but perhaps a little bit uh, sweeter. If you don't want the sugar uh, or as much sugar, be sure not to add chocolate chips. All right, now we're ready to put some bananas in. And the bananas will darken. I've tried um, even soaking them in lemon juice. They will darken a little bit in your mixture, and that's okay. Let's get that one over here. And I think we have lots of fruit on there now. So we're ready to head to our oven, and it's gonna bake at 425 degrees for about 15 to 17 minutes. So let's go to the oven. Now our sheet pan pancakes are fresh from the oven. They've cooled a little bit, so they will cut better and uh, make a nicer presentation. I will lift one sheet pan pancake out. Doesn't that look yummy? Uh, we could add some syrup if we really wanted to. That always makes a pancake uh, more pleasant. And remember, after your sheet pan pancakes have cooled, certainly your family may eat them all at one time, but you can definitely wrap them individually and freeze them for later use, especially if you live in a smaller household. I hope you will enjoy sheet pan pancakes. This is a fun recipe, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.